The event of Ghadir Qum Arabic and Persian, is an event that took place in March 632. While returning from the Hajj pilgrimage, the Islamic prophet Muhammad gathered all the Muslims who were with him and gave a long sermon. In the sermon, Muhammad announced that Ali ibn Abi Talib would be his successor. This sermon included Muhammad's famous declaration that, To whomsoever I am Mala, Ali is also their Mala. The Islamic prophet Muhammad also described Ali with the leadership titles, Imam, Amir, and Khalifa, in the lengthy speech. After the sermon, the following verse of the Quran was revealed, This day I have perfected your religion for you, completed my favor upon you, and have chosen for you Islam as your religion. This verse, the fourth verse of Surah Maida, the fifth chapter of the Quran, was the last verse of the Quran to be revealed. In addition, after the sermon, Muhammad instructed everyone to pledge allegiance to Ali. This event, which over 100,000 people were present at, is considered to mark the completion of Islam. It is also known as the official appointment of Ali as Muhammad's successor. The day's anniversary in the Islamic calendar, 18 Du Al Hijjah, is celebrated by Muslims, primarily Shias, as Eid Ghadir. Background Ten years after the migration and on the last days of Du al Qidah coinciding with 632 in the Gregorian calendar, Muhammad moved from Medina to Mecca accompanied by thousands of his followers. He only once attended Hajj rituals, a few months before he died. Since this Hajj took place in the last year of his life, he made his farewells to people. Ali was in Yemen, preaching Islam, when he was informed about Muhammad's Hajj, so he moved towards Mecca together with some people and joined Muhammad before rituals began. When the rituals of Hajj were finished, Muhammad left Mecca for Medina together with other Muslims. Event Revelation of the verse of announcement On Thursday the 18th of Du al hijjah in the year 10 AH March 632, after the farewell pilgrimage, the Muslims arrived at Ghadir Qum. The following verse of the Quran was revealed, O Messenger, proclaim the message which hath been sent to thee from thy Lord. If thou didst not, thou wouldst not have fulfilled and proclaimed his mission. And Allah will defend thee from men who mean mischief. For Allah guideth not those who reject faith 5 According to the verse, Muhammad was obliged to proclaim an important message. The verse clearly denotes the importance of the message, by saying that if he does not announce it, then he has not performed his mission. After revelation of the verse, Muhammad ordered the caravan to stop, and ordered those who had passed Ghadir come to return, and for them to wait there until the arrival of those who were still on their way. Both Shia and Sunni sources state that this verse relates to the event of Ghadir come. According to Sunni traditional narratives, this verse was revealed during the event, and over 360 Sunnis traditional scholars have mentioned about Ghadir and its connection with the mentioned verse. The sermon On the way back to Medina from Mecca, Muhammad ordered his companions to stop at Ghadir Qum and delivered a lengthy sermon. The most well-known part of the sermon occurred when he raised Ali's hand and said, Whomever I am his mala, this Ali is his mala. When Abu Bakr and Umar heard this, they said to Ali, O son of Abu Talib, you have become the mala of every male and every female believer, morning and evening, congratulations. A portion of a part of sermon is as follows. O people, Allah the Most Kind the Omniscient has told me that no apostle lives to more than half the age of him who had preceded him. I think I am about to be called to die and thus I must respond. I am responsible and you are responsible, then what do you say? They said, we witness that you have informed, advised and striven. May Allah bless you, he said, do you not bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his servant and apostle, and that his heaven is true, his hell is true, death is true, the resurrection after death is true, that there is no doubt that the day of judgment will come, and that Allah will resurrect the dead from their graves? They said, yes, we bear witness, he said, O Allah, bear witness, then he said, O people, Allah is my Lord and I am the Lord of the believers. I am worthier of believers than themselves. Of whomsoever I had been Mala, Ali here is to be his Mala. O Allah, be a supporter of whoever supports him Ali, and an enemy of whoever opposes him and divert the truth to Ali. 
O people, I will go ahead of you and you will arrive at my pond in heaven which is wider than the distance between Basra and Sana'a. It has receptacles as numerous as the stars, and two cups of gold and two of silver. I will ask you about the two weighty things that I have left for you when you come to me to see how you dealt with them. The greater weighty thing is Allah's book. The Holy Quran. One end is in Allah's hand and the other is in your hands. Keep it and you will not deviate. That other weighty thing is my family al -al and my descendants. The most kind the omniscient had told me that both of them, would not separate until they come to my pond. Another similar narration of part of the hadith goes as follows. O people! Reflect on the Quran and comprehend its verses. Look into its clear verses and do not follow its ambiguous parts, for by Allah, none shall be able to explain to you its warnings and its mysteries, nor shall anyone clarify its interpretation, other than the one that I have grasped his hand, brought up beside myself, and lifted his arm, the one about whom I inform you that whomever I am his mala, this Ali is his mala, and he is Ali ibn Abi Talib, my brother, the executor of my will wasayi, whose appointment as your guardian and leader has been sent down to me from Allah, the mighty and the majestic. Topic. Revelation of the verse of Iqmal al-Din According to Shia scholar Sheikh Abdul Hossein Amini's work Al-Ghadr, immediately after Muhammad had finished his speech, the following verse of the Quran was revealed. This day have those who reject faith given up all hope of your religion, yet fear them not but fear me. This day have I perfected your religion for you, completed my favor upon you, and have chosen for you Islam as your religion 5 Sunni Muslims believe this verse was revealed during the farewell pilgrimage of the Prophet Muhammad on the day of Arafah, the ninth day of Dhul Hijjah. <laughs> Oath of Allegiance Only then, Muhammad left the rostrum, and gave the order for the establishment of a tent in which Ali would sit to receive the allegiance oath of Muslims. Thousands of people, group by group, including women, went to him and saluted and congratulated him as Amir al muminin commander of the faithful. Umar ibn al-Khattab was the first to offer congratulations. On the completion of Muhammad's sermon, Umar said, Congratulations to you, Ali. This morning has brought you a great blessing. Today you have become the mala of all believing men and women. Quote, at a later occasion when Umar was asked about his special treatment to Ali as compared to other companions, his reply was, He is my master. Shias believe that, with Muhammad's approbation he recited verses in honor of Ali. The verse are recorded in Ibn Sharashub and affirms that Ali was named as the successor of Muhammad on the day of Ghadir Qum. Mir Sayyid Ali Hamadani, writes in his book, Mawadat al Kurba in Mawada 5, that many companions quoted Umar in different places as having said that Muhammad made Ali the chief and leader of the nation and that Muhammad announced publicly that Ali was their master. Umar was also quoted saying that on the day of that announcement, a handsome youth was sitting besides him and that the youth said to him, Surely, the Prophet has bound a covenant which none but a hypocrite would break. So Umar. Avoid breaking it. When Umar told Muhammad about the incident, Muhammad said that the youth was not of Adam's Adem progeny but was Gabriel Jibril and was stressing the point about Ali. It is also reported that Abu Bakr said to Ali, Well done Ibn Abi Talib. Today you became the leader of all believing men and women. Abu Bakr, Umar, and Uthman are all said to have given their allegiance to Ali, a fact that is reported by both Shia and Sunni sources. Topic. Interpretation and analysis The word mala is significant in the first narration of this hadith, and can refer to a leader, client, patron, friend, partner, ally or numerous other similar relationships. 27, 27 different meanings are given for the word mala and hence the exact meaning should be derived from their syntactical and situational contexts, unlike the words, Imam, Amir, Khalifa, Ulil Amr, Sultan, which are very clear words to describe leader, the word, mala, is more ambiguous. However, Shias argue that the context of the sermon makes it clear that the word mala is meant as leader. In addition, Muhammad did use the words imam, amir, and khalifa to describe Ali elsewhere in the sermon. It is also noteworthy that the Prophet used many titles for Ali in the sermon. The words wali, 
Mala and Imam were used over 27 times, indicating that Ali is the successor to Muhammad in a spiritual sense, as well as a political sense as the word Khalifa was used three times in the sermon. Hence, the sermon established Ali's right as the political and spiritual successor to Muhammad. According to some, the event of Ghadir Qum took place because of a dispute between Ali and two Sahaba in Yemen prior to the farewell pilgrimage. When Muhammad found out about this dispute, he ordered his companions to never anger Ali. The dispute was thus resolved with Muhammad's statement before the farewell pilgrimage. This indicates that there was no need to gather over a hundred thousand people around to discuss the dispute after the pilgrimage, as the dispute had already been settled. Topic. Narrators and citations The event of Ghadir Qum has been revealed in both Shia and Sunni sources. Narrators of the Hadith of Ghadir Qum are many, including Al al Bayt, Ali, Fatima, Hassan ibn Ali, and Husayn ibn Ali, 110 Sahaba companions of Muhammad, Umar, Uthman, Aisha, Abu Huraira, Abu Dar al Gifari, Salman the Persian, Amar ibn Yasser, Zubair ibn al Awam, Habir ibn Abd Allah, and others, who were all present at Ghadir Qum and narrated the event directly. 83 of the Tabun followers, Salim ibn Abd Allah, Umar II, Tawas ibn Qaysan, and etc. 360 Sunni scholars of 2nd to 4th century AH, Abu Abdullah Muhammad ibn Idris al Shaf, the founder of the Shafi'i school, Ahmad ibn Hanbal, the founder of the Hanbali school, Al Nasai, ibn al Maghazili, Ahmad ibn Abd Allah, and Ahmad ibn Abd Rabbah. Shia Hadith scholars, Muhammad ibn Yaqub al Kulaini, ibn Babawe, al Shaykh al Mufid, Sharif al Murtaza, and etc. This Hadith is considered to be Hassan by many scholars, and some consider it Sahih. Furthermore, all Shia Hadith scholars, and some great Sunni scholars, consider this Hadith to be Matawadir. Shia scholar Sheikh Abdul Hossein Amini collected all the references for the event of Ghadir Qum from Sunni sources and issued them together with all other reasons for this event in eleven volumes in of his book Al Ghadir. The above Hadith have been cited in various Sunni sources, including Ahmad ibn Hanbal in Musnad Ahmad ibn Hanbal, Al Nasi in Al Qasis. Ibn Asakir in the history of Damascus, Ali ibn al Athir in Usud al Ghaba fi Marifa al Sahaba, Ibil Maghazili's Manakib, Ibn Majah in Sunan ibn Majah, Ali ibn Abu Bakr al Haythami in Majma al Zawaid, Muhammad ibn Yusuf al Kanji ash Shafi in Kifayat at Talib, Ibn Hajar al Asqalani in al Isaba. Is al Din ibn Hibatullah ibn Abi el Hadid in Shar Najul Balaga, Abu Nu Ayym in Hilyat al Aliyah, Al Khatib al Baghdadi in the history of Baghdad, Al Kuna wa al Asma, Ahmad ibn Muhammad al Tahawi in Mushkal ul Athar, Muhammad ibn Isa at Tirmidhi in Jamie at Tirmidhi, Mawazahul Awam Ibn Kathir in Al Kafi Ash Shafi, Ibn Kathir in Tafsir Ibn Kathir, Al Tabarani in Al Mujam Al Kabir, Ibn Kathir in Al Bidaya Wal Nihaya, Abu Abdullah Al Hakim Nishapuri in Al Mustadrik Allah Al Sahian, Al Dahabi in Takis Al Mustadrik, Arja Ul Matalib, Muhammad Ibn Musa Al Khwarizmi's Manakib Al Tabarani in Al Mujam is Sagir, Ibn Abi Haytham in Al Jar Wa Atadal, Al Dahabi in the history of Islam, Al Juwaini in Farid al Simtain, Al Hasakani in Dwadal Hudit, Ibn Qutaba in Al Imama Wa al Siyasa, Ahmad in Manakib, Hafiz al Dahabi in Mazanil Itidal, Abd al Husayn Amini, Iranian Shia scholar, also has gathered narrations of more than 110 companions sahaba of Muhammad, as well as 40 followers of Muhammad about this event in his book named Al Ghadir. <laughs> Aftermath <laughs> Rashidun Caliphate After the death of Muhammad, a gathering at Saqifah elected Abu Bakr, rather than Ali, to be the successor of Muhammad as the first Rashidun Caliph. 
This choice was disputed by some Muslims, who believed that Ali had been appointed as successor. This dispute led to the schism between Sunnis and Shias. <laughs> Umayyad Caliphate After the first fitna, during the days of the Umayyad Caliphate, when Muawiyah arrived in Mecca during one of his pilgrimages, accordingly, Sa'd ibn Abi Waqqas came to see him, and they happened to mention Ali. Muawiyah disparaged Ali. As a result, Sa'd became angry and said, You are speaking of this man. I have heard the Messenger of Allah peace and salutation of Allah be upon him declare on the day of Ghadr. Of whomsoever I am the Mala, then Ali is his Mala. I have also heard him say, You Ali are to me in position that Harun was to Musa, except that there is no prophet after me see hadith of position. And I have heard him announce, Today I am indeed going to hand over the banner to a person who loves Allah and his messenger, and Allah and his messenger also loves him. <laughs> Eid al Ghadir. Shia Muslims celebrate the occasion of Muhammad declaring Ali as his successor on the 18th of Dhu al-Hijjah. Fasting, doing ghusl ritual bath, reciting the Dua Nudba, and giving food to believers is among recommended practice of Eid al-Ghadir. It is a public holiday in countries such as, Iran, India, Azerbaijan, Saudi Arabia, Iraq, UAE, Yemen, Afghanistan, Lebanon, Bahrain, Syria, Turkey. The Shia Muslim also celebrate Eid Ghadr in Europe and Americas, among in, the US, England, Germany, France, and so on. See also The verse of Walaya Hadith of the Two Weighty Things Hadith of the Twelve Successors Hadith of Giving Zakat while in Ruku Hadith of Mubahala Hadith of Fatima Tablet Hadith of Warning Al al Kisa Nahj al Balaga Umar at Fatima's House Succession to Muhammad Rabig Notes References External links Resources on Ghadir The event of Ghadir cum Shia perspectives Did the Prophets appoint a successor? Narrations from Sunni sources An exegesis of the qur anic verses indicating the incident of Ghadir cum Citations from Sunni sources Ghadir Al-Marahayat, a Shi'i Sunni dialogue Archived from the original on 27 September 2007 Letters 55 to 58, which pertain to the Hadith of Ghadir and its citations and interpretations from Sunni sources. Ketab Ghadir, complete sermon at Ghadir come in English version. Ghadir, the greatest Eid of all religions. Ghadir come, interesting aspects of a unique event. Did Umar congratulate Ali? Narrations from Sunni sources.